Covering news where you live. This is 5 News at 10. It's in violation of our state constitution. It's very clear that it's a violation. First, all new tonight, we're learning more information about efforts to legalize a Fort Smith incentive to bring a mystery retail business to the city. It's a story that we've been following for more than a month now. Good evening. I'm Alexandra Burnley. And I'm Darren Bob. The development is being referred to as Project X. Tonight, City Fort Smith directors held another meeting on it. Five News reporter Michael Wilson was at that meeting where the board approved a rezoning for the proposed project. Within minutes, the Fort Smith Board of Directors approved that zoning ordinance, but during that meeting, we learned more about the bill filed to make that incentive legal. They should be held accountable. Joey McCutcheon practices law in Fort Smith. He's talking about the city of Fort Smith and Board of Directors. Uh, six out of seven uh, city directors are told that this is illegal and uh, they uh, break their necks to do it anyway. Uh, it, it's really uh, disheartening. In March, Senator Greg Stubblefield filed SB 493 in an effort to make the Fort Smith incentive to use two and a half million dollars in taxpayer money to bring Project X to the city legal. But it failed. He brought it up again during this week's sign die at the Capitol. Uh, where does this slippery slope end? Or are we just going to show favoritism to the big corporations? McCutcheon says if Project X comes to Fort Smith and the incentive is still illegal, Fort Smith taxpayers can take legal action, and if they win... Uh, the taxpayers would be reimbursed for an illegal uh, appropriation of money to a private corporation. McCutcheon also provided Five News with letters and documents for the project. He believes Project X could be a Bass Pro Shop based off of these letters from Mayor McGill and Administrator Carl Gefkin to developer Charles Hodges. Same developer is developing a a um, Bass Pro Shops in Midland, Texas. In April 5, News' content partner Arkansas Business reported seeing a Bass Pro Shop rep scouting potential sites in Fort Smith, but with incentive currently illegal. To trample all over our Constitution uh, in the name of economic development is just wrong. And of course, we will keep looking into this and asking questions. For now, we're in Fort Smith covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. Five News did reach out to State Senator Stubblefield about if he would refile the bill next session. He told us he needs to reach out to the property owner, Benny Westfall, first. We also asked the city attorney for uh, Fort Smith for a comment about what happened tonight. He declined to speak.